Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're coming back with the mid-tier budget version of our blue-black Demir control list. Uh, so if you missed it, uh, Ready posted a ultra-budget version of the deck. Uh, so that version will have nothing but uncommons and commons in it, with exception of Nezahal, which is a mythic that you get for free in one of the starter decks, and then the mana base of Watery Graves and Drowned Catacombs. So at the basis it's eight rares for the full 75 um, but you can always use guild gates or the tap lines it's not ideal but in a budget pinch you can use those as well um, so this version here um, it's going to be like a mid tier uh, so it's like the next upgrade in steps before you go to the full tier 5.0 list that we've seen on a lot of mtgo um, so the real thing that we're adding in here is five rares and two mythics. So we have two Enter the God Eternals. So this is a pretty wordy card. It does a lot, but it's really useful. Um, so it deals four damage to target creature. You gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. And then they uh, target player, either yourself or your opponent, can mill four. And you get to mass four, which means you get to create a token that's a zombie and put four one one counters on it. Uh, we've also added in three Vraska's Contempt, uh, so this is a really useful card. What we saw in the Ultra Budget version was we had a difficult time dealing with Resolve Planeswalkers if we didn't have something like the Eldest Reborn come down. This can also deal with like Rekindling Phoenix or stuff that needs to be exiled. Um, and then finally we had it in God Eternal Kefnet. So this thing basically never dies. Um, if it gets exiled or dies, you get to shuffle it a third from the top, or place it third from the top, and then at the beginning of your upkeep, uh, when we draw a card, or sorry, anytime you draw a card for the first time, uh, you can reveal it if it's an instant or sorcery, and then copy it if it costs, and it costs two less. So we can get stuff like cast down copied, we could double copy thought erasure, um, even something like Cry the Carnarium could be useful, Double Vraska's Contempt. So there's a lot of utility there. The rest of the deck is we've added in Pateramander instead of Nezahal, so we've kind of scaled down. Pateramander in this deck is more of a late game, two mana, five five flyer. Um, in a pinch, if we're against control, we can go on more of an aggro plan if we get an early one with disruption. Um, we still have the augers, our removal package is still cast downs, tyrant scorns, which in this particular build does have the utility of bouncing back our pateramanders. Um, we are still playing one narset versus the control mirror, uh, two davriels since we still have the disinformation campaign package, uh, a couple sinister sabotages, a couple insights, and then one eldest reborn main. Uh, the sideboards where you lose a lot of the what you'd see in the non-budget version. Um, you usually have, have like four Enter the God Eternals. You'll have like a Car or uh, Ugin. You can have Liliana in the main board. Uh, in the sideboard, you'd usually have um, uh, Unmoored Ego to deal with like the combo decks. Uh, you'd have uh, three, uh, f three to four uh, Night Vales. Spectres, uh, this guy, uh, where is he, where is he, uh, Thief of Sanity, Nightvale Spectre is the older version of the card, so this card's really good, um, another couple cards we did consider was Gleaming Overseer, uh, just a 1-4 body on 3 that does create a token is pretty useful, um, we got rid of the discoveries in this version since, Augur will be able to play that place, and we don't need the bounce as much now that we have Raska's Contempt. Uh, the rest of the sideboard, we have Moment of Cravings versus Aggro, Negates Duress versus Control, Narset versus Control, Davriel against Control Midrange, Ritual of Soot against Creature Decks, and two more Eldest Reborn. Um, so we'll give it a shot. Um, so in, so this is uh, the reference to the first list that we were playing. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty budget, but it has a hard time dealing with Resolve Planeswalkers. So let's take it for a spin. Uh, wish they would do some sort of order. Where are you? Mid. Okay. Right in front of my face. So as we get started, um, 
just an introduction to new player or newer viewers. Uh, so on the channel, we play everything from tier one uh, to budget decks. I uh, like to do Reddit brews. So if you're active on MTG Arena, shoot me a message. If there's cards or build arounds, I like doing uh, like theory crafting and then playing it out on stream. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing is a free and easy way to help out the channel grow. Um, be greatly appreciated if you could hit that little button in the right hand corner. Uh, so for this hand here, we don't have a lot of interaction on 1 and 2. Pateramander, you usually want to see a little later. Opponent does go first, so it makes the hand a little weaker. And I'm mulligan this. This hand's a lot worse. Okay, we'll keep this. So Tyrant Scorn's not bad there. Elf on one. We lead with swamp. This could be a couple things. It could be the Citadel deck. Okay, so opponent not having a play there is pretty good. Here I'm actually going to shut them off the elf. So they didn't have a play on threes, which means they likely have a hand of four and greater. So taking them off that now is a meaningful tempo play. So this is what they would have drawn for the turn. And then they missed the land drop. So here we'll Thought Erasure them, break up their hands. So here, let's get rid of t the Tyrant. Don't want the land. Even if they draw a blue source and they thought erasure us, we have chemistry's insights, which aren't the worst thing to discard. This is harder for us to deal with. So opponent keeps missing land drops, which has been pretty advantageous. They do have two cast downs, which are pretty bad versus Pateramander. So even in that opening hand, it was good that we uh, shipped it. We do need to find like a cryocarnarium. Okay, into the God Eternal is pretty good here. So it will buffer our life. It's going to force him to use our cast down. Uh, I'm going to mill the opponent. It might play into their fine finality, but they missed a lot of lands, and we just got three off the top of their deck. I did this more for the life gain. They're going to cast it down anyways. Okay, so they get a tap line. Uh, okay, so more lands doesn't really help here. I think we just hold up Contempt and then uh, Insight if need be. If they're just going to attack in for three, we'll take it. Uh, we'll take this. So we need to decide here if we want to contempt this or dig. I think we just contempt this. So we Okay, so they they're good on line drops now. They're gonna thought erasure us. Next turn. Get campaign going. So here I'm gonna let them thought erasure us. They'll take the chemister's insight. 
and then we'll just ditch the Pateramander. I don't want to draw off this because then they get to take our draw. Okay, so they actually go for the Pateramander. Which isn't that bad for us because we have one, two, three, four, five. So we could have adapted it for fairly cheap, but as long as they're showing cast down. They can soon rebuy Carnage Tyrant. So we need to find like an Eldest Reborn. Break up their hand here. By Vivian. I don't think we want the sabotage, do we? So we could Eldest Reborn. Nah. And then we have Tyrant Scorn to deal with the Branch Walker here. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. We'll Tyrant Scorn the Branch Walker. they find so let's just do this now so they could hostage taker I think we need to dig for some sort of okay perfect that was the best we could have done because now we take Carnage Tyrant and then Disinformation Campaign and we've just pretty much grinded them out of the game. Versulti, that's actually pretty solid. So we're going to bring... Oh, opponent just concedes. So, pretty sweet. We'll play one more considering the opponent... Uh, Gave up, didn't want to play against control. Which is odd, especially because in best of two, they just bring in the thieves. Like, they have so many options. They can bring in the gates. Like, I would imagine pre sideboard, they're going to have a harder time. Like, you get rid of the hostage takers. We didn't really show much. Like, you don't really want to take a Pateramander necessarily. Let's play first. This hand does nothing. This hand's much better. Thought Erasure, hopefully. It's two five drops. Ah, let's try it out. This card's just so good right now. Alright. Are you Esper? You Demir? You are Esper. Um, so here... I think we want to take the... Hmm. Let's take the Absorb for now. So we're punished there, actually. I don't want to play into the Negate. If we would have dropped it the other way... Absorb plays into more. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, let's wait. Like, having the cast down. Uh, let's just pass. Basically, want them to try to jam a Teferi. Okay, sweet. So let them negate this. Get down Davriel. And start eating their hand. A mind is a terrific thing to we are gonna take the negate anyways with Davriel, and now we can catch the 
It's a fairy. No time I won't hide from the world any longer. And then the opponent might not realize we're on creatures in our deck. The so get rid of okay, so they got rid of the cast down, which is great. Ah, so they drew the absorb in the end. Just gonna play out Pateramander here. Uh, at this point, we them having absorb there is pretty much gonna lose us the game. And they have cry. So we'll give it one more draw. Okay, insight. It's nothing. Yeah, we lost this one. Very important lesson verse. So, if we got through the Eldest Reborn there, we would have caught Teferi. So, on this matchup, Tavriel's good, Duress is good, this is good, these are good. Coming out, uh, da 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 da. Cries, Ooh, campaign I like. Kefnet's good, Enter the God Eternals can leave. So, they're gonna bring in, uh, Thief of Sanity, so we need to keep some interaction for that. Uh, seven cards to cut. This is impossible for them to kill. That stops them from drawing. The Terramanders are bad. Probably get rid of Tyrant Scorn. So we'll have two answers and cast down. And Vraska's Contempt, one more cut. Eldest Reborn could catch a bit more. Maybe go down one campaign since it's Esper, so they'll play Mortify. We're much better suited versus control. Okay, so. Thought Erasure into campaign. And they mulligan, so we'll tear apart their hand. Ah. They never don't have it. So here, I'm just going to campaign. And they have the negate. Like... I, I play Esper in ranked, but like this is the frustration sometimes you get, where it's just... They had the perfect line of cards to interact with what would have been such a good opening hand for us. Eldest Reborn doesn't actually do much right now. So we're just going to keep playing out lands. Uh, just keep playing out lands and say go. We have uh, two answers to resolve planeswalkers or creatures. Would like a chemisters or something. Okay, so I'll just pass the turn here. See what they discard. So even us just reanimating a hostage taker isn't that good. We do have a Reborn plus Sabotage backup. Let's just Thought Erasure this. Cool. They take it. We're gonna lose.
generally want to play against creature decks, I find, with this build. If they have the counter here, then we're just dead. So they knew that we had it, so they likely have another, but we've drawn literal lands. Yeah, he dead. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Uh, we'll give it one more. Hopefully not play against Esper. Play first. Okay. Discard, discard, disrupt, re reanimate. Let's see what the opponent saw. Another Esper player, another Esper player. So just straight Dovin's Vetoes. Fantastic. Uh, just get the land for now. Want him to tap out. So, uh, this is the one thing about playing unranked. People just concede. Like from an actual, te you play a deck. You had two counters for non-creatures. We're showing blue black. Playing against creatures, we're good. Gonna hold off Pateramander. We don't know what the opponent's on. If it's mono red, it dies to everything. Okay. Hoping this is, uh. Okay. Gonna hold off for now, because we'll have Cry. Ooh. I like the spice they're coming with. Uh, here, let's just play out our lands. Um, probably just gonna kill this one because this one could get big enough, and then that starts getting larger. Okay, so this looks like a one-one counter, probably proliferate theme. And then they got Nisa. Uh, here, let's just play Opateramander. Say go. Kind of regret playing Pateramander now just because of Cry. You know what? I'm just going to use this defensively. Keep our life total high. And just Cry a Carnarium then. Because we have the Contempt for Nisa. And that we have Enter the God Eternal for this thing. I will protect the virtue of this world. The land shall conquer you. Me. 
So here we need to decide if we want to blow up their land or if we want to get rid of Growth Chamber Guardian. I think Growth Chamber Guardian provides some more utility later on. Ah, the second niece is tough. Rise, my elemental friend. So here, let's God Eternal the breeding pool, mill them. We're in a pretty good spot, I think. Mind you, this is going to get really big. Be wary of, the ground you ah, of course. Always a turn behind. I think we're dead on this one. Kiora, I'm just going to do this only because I want to try to find an answer. The Terramander is not said answer. This is Trample. Harness the elements. No blocks. Do anything. We're dead anyways. Okay, good to see that they had Vivian. We're a card behind, but let's concede this one. So this matchup, Eldest Reborn could be useful. Ritualist Soot. Probably want some number of negates. I think Pateramander is just bad in this matchup. They're going to get so much larger than what we are playing. Uh, Moment of Cravings are good. Darial's not that good. Get rid of Narset. So we're basically winning off this otherwise. Maybe just play a Darial. Or actually, we have Kefnet. Kefnet will win us the game. Ritual's good. I don't think we want campaign, it's too slow. Uh, bring in... Just bring in the gate. They showed a lot of planeswalkers. We can't let Anissa resolve. Let's play first. Early removal and negates. Can't complain. Yes, please. Let's just play this out. Say go. Let that resolve. Just play that tapped, so answer whatever they have, play Kefnet. Turn off Vivian anyways, so we can drop down Kefnet and then play Negate. Oh, they actually ditched that. Interesting. Next turn we have both of these up.
inclined to reveal Swamp. So I'm going to wait for them to try to adapt it. And then cast it down. We're winning the race right now. Do I care about this? Not really. I'll just attack it down. And this is Perfect. I uh, would have liked that actually to double it up. This world is lacking kindness. Just past turn. Decline. Just attacking. I'm not gonna show. I'll play another land here. Don't think we need it. gonna keep attacking. It could draw my card, but it's not gonna do too much right now. Oh, let's just pass the turn. We'll kill whatever creature they play anyways. Surges, life thrives. This might be a hydrate crisis. Gives us a target. I would love to cast that for two mana. It's a 6-6. Six, six. We're going to attack with Kefnet, see if they want to block it. It ups our clock, so they can block one of them, but we can still punch through damage. We didn't have an answer for a Krasis anyways when it was cast. Cool deck. Gotta try it out. I wonder if it plays Simic Ascendancy. So now they can actually block both of them. Opponent's uh, hands just gas at this point. And Vivian. Yeah, I think we fell a little too far behind here. Behold, nature's true power. Okay, let's reveal this. Destroy Hydrate Crisis. Uh, here. Some chemistry's in sight. Destroy one of these. Opponents forced to block here. Now 
Now they'll play Vivian. They're gonna get Kefnet down. But we can insight back to our hand. Wild animals are not <gasps> not dead yet. We also have the augers, which can start doing some work. The land fights for us. Let's see if they attack in. They do. Okay, contempt's pretty good there. So that was the worst possible outcome. I'm gonna let Nisa do one more and then exile it. I think we're dead anyways. Things that would break someone like I was trying me. to find some sort of removal just so we could punch through some damage, take him off lands, but yeah. This thing's gonna get huge. 2020. I feel like this deck might want Rhythm of the Wild. They could have just like won. The land shall conquer you. Or even their sequencing. You play that first, because then you would have got four more counters on it. Actually, it's not bad. Uh, so they had the elf. I wanted to try to. S oh, they have Vigilance to the lands? Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. We're dead. So that's a feel for the deck. Um, it's ultimately going to have some weaknesses being blue-black um, without Ugin or Liliana. So we'll play the non-budget version next, uh, just so you get a full feel of the sweets, and you can see if this is like something in your playstyle, you can play the full extent. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, please make sure to subscribe.